good, beautiful morning to one and all. Hope you're all good. First things first for me on the tables. We'll go out and see Dan in a minute. I'm just preparing to do some mozzarella bites. I've got, I've even got more cheese in there this time than last time. I've actually decided to use this tub, uh, or this pot, sorry, because it's more um, non-stick than my other one. So yeah, I'm going to get some mozzarella bites done till uh, this morning, and I'm going to get some cornflake chickens done this morning. Say good morning. Morning. How are you today? I'm all right. You look brighter. My lips are right mess. Yeah, you keep picking at it. No, you won't it. let me pick it. That's why it's a mess. <laughs> got my earphones. Yay! I'm gonna have to pass you the camera though, because I've got a pot of cheese on the go. <laughs> Quite happy with them. I uh, just got them on charge at the moment. So they were reduced from eighty-nine pounds ninety-nine, and I got them for sixteen. Well, down to nineteen ninety-nine, and I got a five ten percent discount or something so £16.99 someone told me they got them for £12.99 they got an even bigger discount than me and a lot of people said they ordered them so you know you don't always have to as a company send products out to people to do reviews do you just have something at a very very good price and some youtubers will mention it and there must have been five six people at least who said they bought these because of last night's video so I've got them on charge ratchet straps I just can't get it right, can I? <laughs> so I've got... These are for cl climbing up Mount Everest. They weigh an absolute ton. They'll work. But look at the sa look at the ratchet on that. It weighs an absolute ton. So I've gone from one extreme to the other now. Never mind. I don't know if I'm going to need that bit, really. I don't know. But anyway, until I have to... Until there is a bit of wind and I have to put this down, I'm not going to mess around with them and try play with them I'll bring them out at the last minute so yeah just got myself ready for the day not feeling too bad um, but I don't know what I'm gonna do I really don't want to be doing this van today I really don't want to be washing that again Mazzy might just have a quick look at my back yep beautiful that's all I'm bothered about my back so yeah, uh, a couple more things coming from Amazon, a few essentials, but let's see what we can get up to. I've only just noticed, Mazzy got something through the post as well. So it's a new step cover, but we can't put that on until we clean the step, but uh, always nice to have a new, fresh, clean step cover. I actually ordered something else last night. What have you ordered? I found uh, one of the lenses. One of them? Yeah. I just hope I can change it all right. It does look a bit naff, doesn't it? Yeah, it's very yellow. Okay, anything else? Been ordering anything else? Oh, something for a drawer, but that's a different job for a different day. Look how much now, this ain't sticking to me pot. How cool is that? Wow, <laughs> look at that. I've put in an awful amount of cheese into that. We just can't get enough of these, can we? No, but is it a good idea? Is it healthy, really? <laughs> you ain't complaining while you're eating it. That inside of stomachs, it's not going to do as much good, but we hey. Enjoyed the um, sheppy pie last night, didn't we? There's a little bit of left. Well, I was enjoying it, yeah. What, until I had some? No, I had two lots. Oh. And then I were in bed this morning. I thought, oh, she's going to bring me a nice bowl of. Uh, Why would I do that? I'm shepherd's asleep. pie in bed. Yeah. And I hear you coming in here, and you, I heard you packing it all up so that I couldn't have any this morning. It's on the plate, a little bit for leftover. It's only a little bit, but on a plate. Yeah, but it shouldn't be. It should be in my mouth. I should be having I something to completely wash different up. today. I knew I wanted to use this pot today. <laughs> right. What am I doing today? Am I just chilling? No, 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 no. We're going to crack on with the van and all that. I want to um, do wheel... I'm doing prep first, and then I want to go out and do some wheel arches. The van technically can be washed now, really, as well. Well, you've got that rubber to do that side. Hang on a minute. What about the dandy dandy? Come on. I'm due one now. Uh, I don't think that's for another few days as yet, is it? <laughs> I don't want to be doing jobs like that yet until I've got what's coming today coming today some proper rags to do job no 
No, but we can do that rubber along the top. No, I, well, I did half of that yesterday. Exactly, you're, you're half a job. And two days before that, I washed the roof. All I ever do is wash this van. Got a little bit of tidying up to do, but 16 big ones is what I've made. So don't get me wrong, we're not eating all these in one go. I know, like, <laughs> Dan's like, oh, I am. Um, cheese isn't good for you, basically. <laughs> we all know that. Um, I might even freeze some up just to test to see how it turns out. Oh, I can't open my bag. Right, so I'm just going to bag them, um, get a couple of bags together. And probably have a couple tonight, maybe with some chicken strips. And I was thinking of possibly a jack of potato with it, but we'll see, we'll see. Haven't really got enough chips, so can't be that sort of a dinner. I'm actually gonna put six in each bag, they're big. Yeah, 16 of them. <laughs> you can see why these mozzarella bites are expensive when you get a takeaway or from a restaurant or whatever takes up a lot of cheese <laughs> all prepared so i've got three massive breasts of chicken there all sort of sliced up cornflakes and seven fried breadcrumb mix right let's make a start so i'm cleaning roof well not roof the trim i've done all that bit it's not coming up brilliantly but it's obviously scraped against something just here but it's a lot better than it was. Yeah, I know I said I wasn't gonna do it or I didn't want to do it, but just one of them things, isn't it? Guys out there, you know, if you think you rule the roost, if you think you rule your home, you don't, you don't. If you do, you're probably under 45. Um, once you reach 45, definitely 50, you know who runs the house, you know where you stand. You just do as you're told. Just just do as you're told. It it's just makes your life so much easier. Don't don't argue about it. Don't quarrel. Don't say no. I don't want to do that. You do it. Don't don't get go down that road. It's like women as well. If you're watching, you know if if you're with a 50, 60 year old bloke and you're looking for a younger man and he's like and he's he's about 40 years old and stuff like that. Don't because he'll still think he runs the house and you'll argue all the time. You need someone, I'd say 48 years upwards, who just knows his place, is being broke down by many women over his life, and he just knows to get on with it. So yeah, I've nearly done this anyway. That's just my advice to you men out there. You know, ideally, if you can learn just to give up at like 20 years old, you're gonna do well in life. There's no point in trying to run, rule the house. Um, so yeah, if you're a young man, grow up. Well, don't grow up, just give in. Give in. And if you're an older woman, just uh, accept you've got an older man and he does exactly what he's told. Just this little bit now. You can see the difference, can't you? What It's made. And then the old van can have a little wash. Now what Dan doesn't realise is that I hear if everything i heard all of that <laughs> right getting halfway through cornflake chicken we fit we've only actually made this the once and it was so super but i feel like we didn't sort of make the most of it that night i don't know and there weren't enough of it you know <laughs> so looking forward to it, having this again tonight possibly tonight we'll see but it should last a couple of days in the fridge. I'm guessing you could probably freeze these as well. Like I said, though, I'm not sure about the mozzarella bites. All right, let's start on a new, new plate. Right, not much more left to go. We might have to make some more cornflake mix up, which reminds me, I haven't made my uh, my chocolate cornflake treats yet, and um, we're all out of chocolate. So come a night. I'm so tempted to just get the bar of chocolate and I keep saying, no, Maddie, just leave it till tomorrow. We'll make a nice batch of um, chocolate cornflakes for the for a treat uh, for the week. So I might make that while I'm sort of in the kitchen doing things today. 
don't get me wrong i will be going out with dan i've, I've planned to do all like the wheel arches today and um sort of get the wheels done to um, a standard let's just say <laughs> right not many of these left let's crack on how many have i made one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen all done trust me make these your kids your family are absolutely gonna love these right so i'm gonna bag these up now go and check on dan and then see if i can actually make some chocolate cornflakes quick but we'll see we'll see how it goes four screenshots today that's all i've got just mm -hmm. four uh, okay, let's start with a joke. Let's start with a joke. Why don't blind people go skydiving? Don't know. Because it scares the hell out of the dogs. Ah, uh, okay. The blind dogs. Yeah. <laughs> well, they're not blind dogs. The dogs aren't blind. Okay. <laughs> Someone said... Right, so for my black bits... What on the van, the decals. Someone said yeah. baby oil will bring out the black shiny bits. I use it on my wagon. Okay. Don't know if that's true. Has anyone else tried that? I don't think I'd like the greasiness. I think it's just making it shiny because it's oily, really. You can. I'm sure yeah. it would wash off. I don't know. Um, and something I've watched. You don't even know I've been doing this. I've watched a full series in the last Have two you? nights. Wow. Mm. Are you sure? Because you quite often fall asleep. I'm positive. <laughs> what have you watched? Netflix. Yeah. Wyatt Earp and the Cowboy War. Mm, okay. Worth a watch. It's very interesting. If you want to know the full real story about Wyatt Earp and the big battle at the OK Corral, um, it's very, very interesting. Is it a drama? It's like... A narrator over the top, it's dramatised. Oh, it's not my cup of tea then, is it? But it's good. It's it's very good. And I didn't realise, cowboys, did you know this? Cowboys were actually baddies. Did you mm, know that? I don't know, really. Why am I going know. like... What? I, I, I feel know. like the camera's over there. <laughs> I'm like this. I'm sorry. Uh, cowboys. Yeah, they're bad people. Apparently they used to steal loads of cows from down in Mexico, bring them up to... Uh, America and sell them. Is that why they're called cowboys? Because they stole cows? Possibly. But they were basically like the mafia of America. Oh, interesting. Mm. And they all used to wear a hat with a rattlesnake rim. That's how you knew it were a cowboy. Oh, that's cool. Mm. So I watched that. That was good. And let's finish with one last joke. Now, I'm a big Doors fan. Uh, uh, okay. The music band, I, The Doors. I love The Doors. I'm probably not going to get this then, am I? I love The Doors. So, I went into HMV the other day and I said, uh, have you got anything by The Doors? I says, yeah, we've got some boxes, recycling and a fire extinguisher. <laughs> 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 I like that one. I didn't think I was going to get that one. That one's good. Simpler the better for me. I find the simple yeah, ones funny. we know. Melting down some chocolate. <laughs> Ideally, you need to do it like a ban marie, but never mind. I just opted for cooking chocolate because it does melt a lot easier than if you get like dairy milk or something. It sort of crumbles up and goes weird, doesn't it? Anyway, I've got two bars thinking, oh, that, I'm going to get loads out of that. But that looks a little bit rarrying, don't it? <laughs> so if you come over here, I want to, not all the way, but I mean, if I can get two trays... I'll be well chaffed, even if it's just halfway up on um, each tray. So this is just like a little chocolate treat for us for the week. Week? <laughs> Mazzy? Week? <laughs> for a day or two. <sighs> So obviously you can use Rice Krispies, shredded wheat. Who loves those shredded wheat ones with the mini eggs inside you get for Easter? Me! <laughs> I don't even think Dan's a massive fan of this actually. More for me! But I, I personally like cornflakes. 
Uh, let's go with a couple of those. Actually, actually, <laughs> I think this is going to make quite a lot. So I better hurry up with this because I'm starting to feel a little bit bad. Dan's been out there cracking on. But I did just sit down only for a quick minute. I haven't actually stopped now in the kitchen. It went a little bit funny. Dan's like, maybe you're feeling weak. I don't, I don't know. I don't feel weak. I just, just went over all funny. Oh, I hope I haven't put too much cornflakes in now. All right, let me just give this a good old mix. Right, that should do. I <clears throat> don't know if I can pick this up now. No, you would be hot, wouldn't you? Ooh, mm, I have to spoon it in. Spoon it in. I do think I'm actually going to get the second try. Two trays of tasty treats, cornflake treats. Oh, I'm well chuffed with that. Right, I'll get those in the fridge and cool down. All tidied up, so I'm all done in here now, apart from putting some jacket spuds on a bit later on. But yeah, been a little bit of a busy morning, hasn't it? But up, Diff. Right, I'm gonna go out, see Dan, and just take five minutes quickly to myself. <laughs> Wow! Well done you, honey! It's looking sparkly and lovely. Yeah, it's looking a lot better. Yeah. I've not really done the bottom properly because I don't want to get all the bits of grime on the sponge. Oh, alright, yeah, I'll yeah. That for you. I need to sit down for a minute. I haven't chilled yet. A little update. Haven't you done wonderful? I've done exactly what I'm told. I didn't tell you to do that. Didn't even ask you. I can't chip in yet. For one, lack of tools, because we sort of need the same tools, but for two, I sort of came over all funny, didn't I? <laughs> yeah. So I'm not gonna sort of overdo myself. If I can get a couple of the wheel arches done, I'll be happy. But yeah, I'm starting. With that brush now. Oh, you are? Oh, okay. You done cool, haven't you? Quite impressed. I ain't done front. You're showing them all front, I ain't done. <laughs> I can see you ain't done the front. I can see the crust on the um, window shield. <laughs> then wiper blades need wiping as well. They've got crud all over them. Yeah, I'll just make a start in a minute. <laughs> you don't feel well. That's why I put my jammers on. <laughs> no, not well. I've been working hard. Yeah, and I just thanked you. Yeah, but I want them to know. Oh. I guess I do the van all the time. So, I've been working really hard. <laughs> I've literally washed the entire van today. Um, very happy with how it, it's come up. And the sides are looking really good. The front isn't. It did when it was wet. It did when it was wet. Yeah. It's got a film over the top. But that's that's the thing you see, especially using water from a campsite, for example. The water probably isn't the clean. I don't know. It uh, might be. That's drinking water. Is it drinking water? Yeah. Um, but that's where your detailing comes in into it, isn't it? But yeah, it's it's looking good. Yeah, it's looking really good. I'm very happy with that. How's this decal come up? Not too bad. You can see it's got uh, a few watermarks on there, but it's better than it was. I did help a little bit. You did help. You that. did help. You're fantastic. Brilliant. Thank you. Right, hold that. Yeah. Um, so I've just found some. Oh, there's hardly any in it. Oh no. A bit of tar remover, which will come in handy. Luckily, you don't need a lot of that. <laughs> For us detailing. That's brilliant stuff. Uh, tire bumper. Well, it's going to be for his tires to make them shine once yep. we've cleaned them. Mm. Brilliant. Uh, I got all this Williams stuff out because this is amazing. This got, was a this. yeah. This was free as well, wasn't it? It was off a, a viewer. Very kindly sent. Yeah. It. Uh, very expensive stuff. This, but we've nearly used it all. Where is it? 
I'll tell you what was good on that. What's well, the waterless shampoo on that one? I used no, to use all the time. Is. This is waterless shampoo, I think. No, that's the shine. Only one it? without water. It cleans, shines, and protects. That does everything. Oh, so that's what I used to always yeah. use then. That's why there's hardly any. Left. Yes. Yeah. So we've got a little bit, and then I'm going to have to use this, which is like Silky's Fine Shine Polishing Camp Compound. So that's a compound. Now that's going to be hard work. Well. That's it's gonna... all going to be hard work anyway, isn't it? Yeah. The van is clean. Yeah. It's just now a matter of detailing and shining it up, buffing it up and getting a ceramic coat on it. We've actually got a ceramic <laughs> coat to put on it. That's that, going to be a job. That's mm. brilliant. Don't know how to use that. but Isn't it amazing how, like, um, the, the detailing on a van, I mean, you can do your basics all year round, but then all of a sudden creeps up on top of your dinner and a lot of detailing needs doing on it. Definitely. You should see Paul's van over there. It is immaculate. Is Absolutely it? Yeah, you immaculate. said that yesterday. Yeah. He, he was doing, in there doing his electrics <sighs> yesterday. Even the cupboard where your electric yeah. batteries and stuff go, immaculate. It looks like it's just come out of a showroom. Mm. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to be doing that over the next five days now, just pottering when I can be asked. If I can't be asked, I won't do it. Yeah. I've done yeah. the majority. And hopefully tomorrow I'll be back on form again. I don't know what's wrong with me today. But luckily we've got all the products. We haven't necessarily got to go and buy anything, have we? No, as I say, I think I've got nine, like chamois, not chamois, um, microfiber cloths, yeah. good ones coming today. And some black back to black type back to black type stuff i still don't know where you're meant to be really doing that but mm, me yeah but it for you love <laughs> so i've got a load of these coming but much better than this much better um but i can't wait they're not here for an hour or so i want to not crack on let me hold the camera for you <laughs> but i want to see how well i can just get this bit up because that's always the best bit, isn't it? Yeah. Can you see all it's the spots? It's just watermark. Yeah, it's like what? Yeah. yeah, but it ain't really coming off. It's because it dried out before you just kind of... It didn't. So I'm just going <laughs> to try using some of this, just on this bit, seeing if we can get it up to a shine, and then yeah. I might put some ceramic coat just on this bit and see how <coughs> good the van is going to look when it's finished. Mm -hmm. Don't work. Oh, there we are. Uh, no, sparingly. That goes miles. <laughs> oh, you got it all on the headlight now. That's what you want to avoid, and don't pull it on your windows. All either. right, go sit down, you. <laughs> Jesus, let me hold camera for you. Why are you doing the headlight? Because she said I sprayed it on. Just go sit down. No, you can't do the headlight. <laughs> so wax. Oh, oh, this went to be an enjoying ten minutes on me own. Just... All right, all right. Oh, shit, shit. Go on. I've got it all over. In the meantime, I've got Jackie potatoes on. Now, I've said to Dan I don't really fancy one, but I've put four little ones on just in case. Now, something I've, I've said to Dan today, I'm not going to use liners anymore because it definitely gets crispier underneath without them, and I have to end up cleaning it anyway, so it's kind of pointless. Uh, yeah, so i just got that on for an hour. Uh, once that's done, I'll keep those warm. And then do a few chicken uh, cornflake chickens and mozzarella popper bites in there. He's got it on the window screen now, isn't he? <laughs> he won't listen though. He thinks I'm nagging, but it's it's a wax. <laughs> I suppose uh, sometimes I can come across like I'm nagging. <laughs> He's keen though. He is keen. I've got to give it to him. And he finally did actually get rid of the bird muck uh, this morning. So I do have to do now the inside of this window just because when it was lifted up with me scrubbing all of the moss around the outside of it, water was dripping in. All right, let's go out and see Dan. I'm sorry if I come across naggy. Good. <laughs> oh, we've got some nasty chips there, haven't we? Oh, yeah. Never used to have those. I have to say, I'm not entirely happy with this. I like it. Looking at it close up, mind you, I think it is a it speckly... Is, yeah, it is kind of a glittery, speckly finish on yeah. that. Now I'm looking closer. Yeah, I... 
I'm well shocked with these couple of chips. That's a shame, isn't it? Don't know if you can ever repair those. Yeah, actually, from a distance, it looks really good. I'll tell you what, it's better than what it was, isn't it? <laughs> it definitely is. So with that, I think I'm just going to put uh, a ceramic... Are you going to try that today? ...finish on it. Oh, yeah. I think so. Okay. Just on that bit, just to see how shiny it'll be. Just to see how it comes up. Hopefully then it should make it kind of water resistant is what I'm guessing, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, the water should just bead off it. It's hard work though, isn't it? It's very hard work, yeah. Yeah. Holding a camera, watching me. <laughs> you know I'm not very well today. I'm not even making that up. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Yeah, well done. Well, I'm not happy with it. But what can you do? No, they're chipped. You can't do nothing with that. Maybe if it ever gets worse, we'll get those repaired. So this is the Williams Ceramic Coat. I can smell it. It's like paraffin. It's really strong. Don't sniff it too much. <laughs> You're basically just getting it on and it, get, it finds like minute little holes or cracks oh. in the paintwork. So all you're doing is coating it, then you leave it for a bit and then get it up to a buff. That's cool. So there's hardly any in this pack. Yeah. But enough to do the cab, Should not the old van. Yeah. I'm guessing there was enough in there to do partially a car, wasn't there? Maybe a whole car? Possibly a car, yeah. Yeah. So you're going to leave that then for a few minutes. Yep. So this Williams kit, we must have had this two years? <laughs> I think practically when we got the van. No, That's two, been longer two, than two, three years, years maybe. Um, sent from a viewer and he printed out instructions on what to do. Um, preparation is the key to getting a clean motorhome, so be sure to follow the instructions carefully, especially steps one and three. Number one. Ensure package labelled 1 is cooled to your required temperature before you start to clean the motor up. <laughs> now package number 1 was a can of John Smith's. Yeah, I'm sure there was a full pack in there for I'm you. I'm not sure. <laughs> this will be essential in the final process of the kit. Uh, we recommend at least 4 hours prior to cleaning. And then it tells you how to do the job. The boring stuff. And then. <laughs> This final process is the most important. Find a suitable chair and retrieve package one and two. Sit back and enjoy packages one and two. Marvel in the great job you have done and take the rest of the afternoon off. There you go, that's a little damn there. Look. <laughs> so what was package two then? I can't remember, but I'm guessing he doesn't watch us anymore. It's years ago, but if you are, please leave yeah, a comment. Yeah, it doesn't say your name, but we've always... Because I've, we have used this a lot in the And past, also, let tell. let Dan know that we've actually had that a lot longer than two years. Like, oh, babe, I've been using that for years and years. I would highly recommend anyone, if you can afford it, get this, because it is incredible stuff. Yeah. It's expensive. I won't pay it personally. Uh, it's too much for me to be paying Once it's this. gone, it's gone, isn't it? But it is brilliant <laughs> stuff. I don't know, though. I think when you do spend money on proper... Uh, you know, equipment to wash your car and van, and that. I think it's worth well, what, it. What's brilliant about this is it's a showroom shine, right? It yeah. cleans, shines, and protects all in one without water. Yeah. Um. So you don't, you know, if you're on campsites and stuff, and you're not allowed to clean your van, for example. Yeah. Um. Or you're going travelling, and you just want to buff it up, get rid of the marks as you've been travelling in the rain or whatever. Perfect. Perfect yeah. stuff. I think you don't realise how many times I've actually used that on campsites. Getting away yeah, from here, this is well before here. So, yeah, it's really good. Good for shears. He even sent us cloths actually with that, didn't he? Well, it came in the kit. Yeah. Oh, I thought he'd specifically put some cloths so in there for I'm us. I'm going to now use this cloth to go and buff. To go buff my ceramic shine. Sheen. It's a shame the sun isn't shining directly on this so you could see how shiny it was. Um, but yeah, that's done now. Can you tell? Can you even tell? It's like a mirror. Remember, I've only done that bit. So compare it to that, maybe. The sun does look a bit brighter there than there. 
so I'm happy with that that is now fully protected I'd like to if there is enough of this stuff to do the back as well just do this front bit and do the back because everyone sees the back don't they yeah very happy with that now, yeah. Everybody's actually been quite enjoying our little cleaning vlogs, haven't they? Apparently, yeah. Don't I, know, why. I know you were a bit paranoid about it. Right, so I want to replace my mat. Mm -hmm. but I really want to clean the step up and it never cleans up very well. Has anyone got a tip for this? Yeah. Come down here, come down here. It's all kind of wear and tear, you know. I really want to give it a good, nice clean up. Has anyone got any recommendations? Yeah. What? Bucket of water. No, I've done that before, loads in the past. Soapy water. It doesn't work. And that. No, I've done it. It doesn't really come up. I think Mazzy means like a metal cleaner, don't you? Like an aluminium cleaner. Yeah. I think yeah. it's aluminium. It's probably aluminium, yeah. Just to, to buff it up nice kind of thing, you know. Give it a bit of a shine again. We'll see. Right. This is definitely the last cleaning vlog. Not that we're finished cleaning though. No, the cleaning will carry on and we'll show tiny clips, but we ain't filling a vlog with cleaning anymore. It's getting out of hand. We need to have some fun. We are having fun. I'm having fun watching you today. Mm. <laughs> Say goodbye to everyone, Mazzy. Oh, it's all over and done with. It's all over and done with. Oh, okay. Well, we'll see you again tomorrow for another exciting day in the awning. For a very, very, very dandy day. A dandy, dandy. Yeah? It's not a day after tomorrow. No, it is. Yeah. It definitely is after everything I've done. Tomorrow's my day off. Say goodbye to him. Bye. Don't do that. <laughs> You're going to hurt your arm.